going on, y'all? Junkyard Dog back in the house. And uh, this is for day two of the... Uh, watch out, Beth. This is day two of the... Of the hey, what's going on, little dude? <laughs> what are you doing? This is day, oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no. I don't want any of your spit on my face. I just don't do that. I don't do those things, man. You're trying to clean my beard? Anyway... What's going on, y'all? You kicking it with the Junkyard Dog on junkyarddogs.com. So this is uh, day two of the four-cylinder V8 notch swap. You okay, little dude? You okay? He's all right. Say what's up, Panther. Say what's up, Pantero. Say what's up. Say what's up. Look. Say what's up. Ain't nobody in there. That's just crazy. Anyway, uh, this is day two of the. Uh, Four cylinder V8 swap. I started really, really late today. Uh, Cause I had a class I had to do this morning. So I am back, but I'm gonna try and do as best I can today. So finish up with those fuel lines. Um, I got my boy Matt out there in Sacramento who's gonna send me the tool I need to take out the bushings so I can finally install that 8.8. .8. I did get the suggestion to put do a five lug swap right now, but uh, quite honestly, man, I don't want to have to go to the junkyard for anything. I literally want to just transfer what's on that vert right onto the notch. I don't want to, have to do anything else. I'm really not interested in doing that. But I did get some good tips, which I'm going to use today. Dude told me, which I was dreading changing the springs because I don't have the spring tool and it's like damn near impossible to change the springs uh, on the front. He told me, um, take out the whole entire K member. Um, as one unit, it's rotors, everything, the whole thing. Put it on a jack and uh, stick a um, stick a uh, uh, I guess a dolly or whatever underneath it, and roll it right underneath the four cylinder, and bolt it right back up. Jack it up and bolt it right back up, which I think is tight. Um, I think I could do all that just using the um, even the floor jack somehow. You know what I mean? So hopefully that works. Let's try it. So that's what I'm on today, man. Let's go. All right, boom. So here we go. We're back at it once again. Ah, late start, late start. So anyway, got the fuel line disconnected up to this point right here. Okay. So this is where it kind of gets weird because I got to take it from down there, which I already did. But, and I already disconnected this part. But you can't pull it out because, well, the strut's in the way. Okay. Which, I mean, in an... In a nutshell, I guess I'd have to remove the tire anyway to get the get the K-member out. Or I could leave it on and just and roll it around. That would be interesting too. So yeah, I know that this rear end here, I'm, I'm contemplating just kind of like, like putting it back in so that I can put this back end back on the ground and then lift this end up so I can pull the motor out. Let's get to it, man. Let me quit all this talking. All right, so it's nothing but snags, nothing but snags. So check it out. I do not have a key for the trunk of the notch. Just realize it now. So I can't get in there to remove the shocks. I think I can go from the inside, but I'm all dirty right now, and I want to jack the inside of the car up. So I'm just going to move up here, man. It's starting to start ripping some stuff out. So let's go for it. All right, so the motor's all disconnected. It's doing the baby rock. And everything disconnected, ready to come out. Um, I just gotta go underneath here and get these mounts loose and uh, go get the jack and take this sucker out. All right, so this is El Momente of Truth. I'll take that Spanish, but it's all good. All right, so we're pulling them out now. Disconnected everything. Get it going.
All right, so uh, the next move, I'm going to take off this trans line because actually my blue vert needs a trans line. Um, somebody had broke off this tip right here, and um, it's a hose there. And for some reason, I think the hose is, hose is pinching, and it's not letting my trans get the fluid cooled properly. So anyway, boom, engine is out. So now, like, as I'm looking more now, I notice that the booster is absolutely different. Um, I'm probably going to take the master cylinder, too, just because. And uh, just start tearing stuff off the walls here and putting them on, uh, putting them in the, uh, the, the notch. But here's the thing. Now that I th th think about it, I probably should just take all this stuff out. And then transfer stuff directly over before I forget where it goes, right? It makes a lot of sense. So, um, as far as the rear end here goes, 7.5 is going in. I was managed to be able to get the shocks off, but problem is, like I said earlier, with this one, you can see the shocks on there. Those are the VA shocks. These ones here. I can't get out because I can't get the trunk loose. Now I'm pretty sure I can get in there from back here. I'm lifting the seat up or something. Uh, all right, I'm pretty sure I can. But I just don't want to fool with it right now. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure I can get in there through the seat. Um, if I put some effort into it, but I don't want to fool with it too now because I'm dirty. I'll mess the seats all up But yeah, my homeboy Matt uh, He sells stuff on junkyarddogs.com all the time. Peace to the homie Matt He's gonna send me a tool to press in and out the bushings so um, I can take care of that bushing because on the back of my truck. I got a uh, I got a, um, a rear that was welded a welded diff with brand new bushings in it. So I figured, hey, I'll just use that and press them in and uh, that'll solve that problem. And then I gotta figure out something for these arms out here because these ones are chewed up pretty badly. Um, doesn't make sense putting them in if they're all chewed up, you know what I mean? So, well, yeah. Um, but just for the sake of what, what you guys gotta understand, this is just a straight swap over. I'm not going for the whole like brand new this, brand new that. I'm just swapping it over and as things come up, over time, then I do it. Then I'll change them. That's what happens with a lot of times when dudes be taking up a project. They'll be, oh, well, this is old. Might as well put a new one. This is old. Might as well put a new one. That's cool and all that. But that's what ends up taking months and months and months because you got to order it and you got to wait. And forget all that, man. We're just trying to get this done. Okay? Get it running. Get it rolling. And then we could do stuff as it's on the road because I'm tired of, like, cars just sitting around, man. I'm really tired of that. You know, I've had mayhem now for four years, sitting up and still trying to figure stuff out, and there's still a lot more to go. So we're not gonna do that with this. So let's go. All right, so that's it. Um, it was a short day today. I only really got to get down for like two hours today. Um, but I still was uh, managed to pull the motor out and uh, get some things done. So what I'm gonna do this time uh, tomorrow um, is strip the engine bay of the vert and pull out the um, four cylinder completely and uh, strip out everything that ain't got nothing to do with the V8. All right, and just start transferring over all the wiring. And um, I don't know, I might just uh, stick this um, motor on the ground uh, and then um, try to figure out what I'm gonna do about uh, this K member because it just seems like it'd be a lot more easy for me if I was just drop the whole K and just just put it in because installing springs in a Mustang is hell. It's like it's not a cool process. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, that's it. Day two, junkyard dogging. Woo!